Okay, so we're going to look at page 71 of day 15 homework, um, and that is going to help you hopefully uh, with reviewing isotherms. Uh, just as a quick review, an isotherm is a line that connects points of equal temperature. So for example, here is the 50 degree isotherm. It connects all of the 50s and some interpolated 50s, in other words, estimated 50s, they go here. Here there is a 50 because we know it's between 40 and 80. Here there's a 50 because we know that it is between 30 and 60. Here between 40 and 60 we can interpolate a 50 as well. And all along this line, even though there are only a few 50s drawn. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and draw in uh, the 40 degree isotherm line. It's a little easier. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with 40 here. And I'm going to go through each of the points that are 40. without crossing any other line. So the main thing about isotherms that you have to be very careful about is not to cross any lines when you do that. Um, and the reason that isotherms can't cross lines is again because you can't have two temperatures at the same place. It doesn't make any sense when you talk about surface temperatures. I think the 30s and the 20s um, are pretty easy. We're going to go to the harder ones. The harder ones, once again, are 60 degrees is pretty difficult because you need to go ahead and interpolate um, where a 60 might be. I think there's a 60 here because it's between 50 and 80. There's also a 60 very close to this line here, but not touching it. So we're going to want to get really close without touching the lines and connect our 60s. So again, as we do this, the big idea is to make sure that we're connecting all the points that are 60s even though if they're not uh, on the map okay um, we're gonna do a little bit of a harder one uh, since these are kind of uh, it makes a little sense I think hopefully from yesterday or from today's lesson we're gonna go ahead and look at some of the harder ones down here um, especially the map up top so what I'm gonna do is gonna draw the 40 degree isotherm first and the, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and start finding some of the 40s here so here's a 40 degree mark and I see another one here these are going to be on my line um, and there are some others scattered throughout like this one for example and there's another one I'm sure somewhere around here, here we go, up here so all of these points have to be on that line. I'm going to keep that in mind when I do this. Again, we have four different spots. One of them is here. I need to always figure out whether there is a 40 or not in these uh, areas here. And so what I'm going to do is look in between the numbers here. This is a 36. This is a 42. There should be a 40 right about here. So I can go ahead and continue my line as I was going through here. Every time I'm going between two numbers, I have to ask myself, is there a 40 between 38 and 42? Yes. If I go ahead and continue, I might be tempted to go ahead and draw my line down here, but this is wrong. And the reason that this is wrong here is because it's between 44 and 42. There is no 40 in between there. So I have to find another place, maybe nearby or around these numbers. If I look right here, between 42 and 48 there's also no 40 so what I'm gonna wanna do instead is I'm gonna wanna find maybe a place here between 38 and 44 that makes sense because if I count 38, 39, 40 41, 42, 43, 44 there is a 40 in between that so I'm gonna go ahead and draw my isoline through here connecting here I'm gonna connect on top and again, you need to find where exactly is it that there is a 40. You know that no 40 can exist between 42 and 46 because we're interpolating. So this will be a wrong turn if you made it. You might be tempted at this point to go ahead and just draw it at the, to the edge of the map. But if you look really carefully, between a 38 and a 42, there has to be a 40. And between 33 and 43, there has to be a 40. Now I'm turning here because between 36 and 43 there's a 40. And this is how we draw and contour our line correctly. 
until we get to the edge of the map. So that's one half of the 40 line done for us. The other half of it is going to be similarly drawn, but going in this direction, between 39 and 43, 39 and 41, 39 and 46, 39 and 45, there's a 40, 39 and 41 again, 36 and 41, and 36 and 43. Now we've drawn our line from one end of the map to the other. I'm going to do one more. You might want to pause the video here and try the 50 degree line. Uh, and I'm going to show you uh, what it should look like. Hopefully you've paused the video and I'm going to go ahead and start my 50 degree line between 49 and 52. There should be a 50 somewhere in there. I'm checking these numbers, 44 and 52, there's a 50. 44 and 51, there's a 50. 43 and 55, there's a 50. 45 and 53, there's a 50. Uh, here's a 50 here, I'm going to go right through this point. 43 and 53, there's a 50. 43 and 51, between 44 and 51, there's a 50 there. 44 and 53, 46 and 56, between 47 and 58, between 41 and 53, and one more time, between 46 and 53, and then 46 and 52. That's how I drew my 50 line from one edge to the other of the map. Now, if you look very carefully, the interesting thing here is that uh, the, the parts in between the lines, if you look at them, here's a quick way to check it. All the parts that are in between these two lines, all of this here, should all be in the 40s. It should be somewhere between uh, 41 and 49, all of these numbers. And there should be no number that is in the 50s or in the 30s in this section, if I drew this correctly, since I'm counting by 10s. And so that's an easy way to check that. Um, again, what I did today was the gatekeeper method, which is you are not drawing points, uh, but you're writing it through, and that might be a little advanced. If you need some help, what I suggest you do is go ahead and make your marks where the 50s should be first. And once you do that, I think it'll be very easy for you to find how to draw these lines a little bit better. Uh, because then you can go ahead, once you have plotted your 50s, uh, and figure out exactly where to go. Okay? Uh, one last one. I'll do a couple of points with 60, but then I'll leave you to it. So I know there's a 60, for example, and I'll do that in blue, between 52 and 69, right here. There definitely has to be a 60 between 52 and 66. There's definitely a 60 between 52 and 70 all the way on the left here. There's definitely a 60 between 51 and 65. And so as I start to draw the 60 degree isotherm, you can see that I'm going to go through the points that I did, and I'm going to have you now continue uh, to do the rest on your own.